cutting off on us. Folks, dímelo, linda. Here we go again. Hola, comadre. And, and, and today we got a good one for you. <laughs> sure do. I'm Liz, folks. I'm Mari. I'm Suli. And I'm Marcy and, from Comadreando Podcast. Oye, ella ni me... Espérate, no. Eh, espérate, echa para atrás. You didn't even let me introduce you. Why? What the she, hell is wrong with you? She doesn't need an introduction. She's she doesn't. Mar- but I want to say. She's but I want to say. Marcy. <laughs> but I want to say. And today we have with us our very own Marcy from Comadriando. <laughs> que te dieron pela. <laughs> no introduction needed. Yeah, what's yes, up? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, wow. Well, thank you for joining us. Uh, I really love your little comadriando, uh, uh neon light and everything. I'm, yes, uh, I want one. Now. I want one. <laughs> it's I, official. It is official. I know. It looks, it, it, it kind of like, if you can't read it, like, it's like the neon sign, whatever, it's like very reminiscent of like the deuce. Have you guys seen the deuce? The deuce. Oh, the I haven't seen like, the deuce, like, but I do know the, the, the show. Times, yeah. Times Square back in the, you know, peep show days. Ah. Like, ah. like you should, like you should have a, you should have a, you should have a stripper pole and, yes. and your stilettos like and a shit. red light That's what, special. <laughs> yes, it's very silhouette and sexy shit. dance. Yeah, yes. really, Mari, Mari, huh? tell us about the, tell us about those Forty Second Street days. I want to hear. <laughs> no, I don't know. That was before my time. <laughs> red light special. No, let me tell you something. I was actually in Times Square um, a couple of days ago, and uh, I hadn't been there in such a long time. There were so many people there, though. Yeah. There was a line outside of Carmine's, and it was like brick outside. It hurt to be outside, and people were standing there, like, yeah. shivering. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, this Saturday was Saturday. Saturday was windy. And Saturday was Yeah, it was cold as fuck. Mm. Like, my face was frozen, and it had nothing to do with the Botox. It was literally <laughs> frozen. <laughs> yeah, we're going we're gonna to get to that in a minute. I was in Times Square. I'm so, oh, first of all, I'm over the cold. I, was in, I, went, I went to took the kids to see Dear Evan Hansen uh, last the Saturday before, and the show is amazing, first of all. It is so appropriate for everything that's happening today. And I've been wanting to see that show for a very long time. So I took advantage of the two for one Broadway tickets or whatever. And the kids, it really resonated. Uh, Wait, wait, the dogs gave birth already? (laughs) But to that, (laughs) they gave, that's a wrap. No. no, a poodle and a, what is I it? A po- it's a chihuahua. A poodle and a lab. A chihuahua. Sí, to a chihuahua. Suerte, suerte que el perro no te oye tan mala, Dios mío, una cosa tan linda. linda. ¿Cómo tú lo ves? Y esa rata con cuatro patas. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, okay. I'm sorry, Lizette. You should talk. You had a rat. <laughs> for a dog i did oh my god i did that sh- I, did. I, I had a morky i, I had a morky. i don't know what the hell it what was what the fuck is that but it was something that barked and i went to lizette's house <laughs> and lizette's like look at my kid. i was like what the it looked like a it looked like a roach and a chihuahua <laughs> had a dog <laughs> that it was shit was it ugly was, so bela okay was, was not bela uh, <laughs> it was, she's a half Maltese. It was Maltese York, Yorkie, so it's a Morky. But she, cuatro libra moja. Cuatro libra moja. I have to see pictures. Wait, are you sure? Because she had a pick and face. No, she's a Morky. I will send you pictures. We will post pictures of, of Bela. Okay. okay. I thought she was cute. Um, she was given to me. I sort of like rescued her, and then I gave her on as a therapy dog. Yo, yo, pass but, that ugly dog on to other people. <laughs> that was not a cute but, dog at but all. But I digress. But so like dear a true, Evan Hansen, like a true mom, you did, you did love your dog. Go ahead. I do. I listen. If I'm gonna have it, I'm gonna take care of it. But in any case, so dear Evan Hansen, I highly recommend it, um, especially if you have teenagers or anything like that. The the the, the storyline, it, it's a, it's really impactful. But. When we went out, like you, Mari, I had not had been in Times Square oof, since Jesus was a child. I don't even know when. Oh, and you I and <laughs> they me and Ruth, yes. <laughs> Let's not even continue. Yes, I hadn't been there since, since 
the teen years. Go ahead. <laughs> I hadn't been there in forever. And thankfully, the weather was decent. So, you know, they have the guys that do the break dancing still in the street. Mm-hmm. I got pulled into the dance. What? Wait, were you break dancing? <laughs> No, but I got pulled into the electric boogaloo. (laughs) Were you doing the beat street? Were you? (laughs) What the fuck? Yeah, and I got hit on by a man from Connecticut who was single. We were standing in the line together because they were gonna jump all over us, and so we sparked a conversation and everything. But eh, nothing. The (laughs) Twindlers. What is it? That's it. That's it. That's like Westchester. That's Westchester. That's, that's like Westchester, West Connecticut, Westchester. Westchester. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he was. He lived in Connecticut, so he was the yeah. Tinder swindler. Oh no. yes. <laughs> yes. But folks, I don't know. So you know, we're gonna talk about this. I just don't understand why people are sending money to people they don't know. Don't like understand. these scam, these scam people. Oh, ven acá. ¿Y en qué carretera estamos? No soy yo, no fui yo. Estamos en una carretera. Estamos en la en la en la en la carretera de Santo Domingo. ¿Cuál es la 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 chuchi? La chuchi. La chuchi. La chuchi. La chuchi. La chuchi. No, so like all these people who who get scammed. Like the other day on the news. So this is separate from Twindler Swindler, but um. The lady said, oh, some man said I won the lotto, but I had to send him $10,000 to get my ticket. Like, I don't get that. And so, I'm sorry. I don't know you. We're on Twi- tw- tw- Twizzler, whatever the fuck they are. Twindler, whatever. Twitter? Tinder, you mean? Tinder, Tinder oh, yeah, Tinder. Oh, I, I don't know. Whatever. She was mixing it. Both of them. I was mixing it. Mm-hmm. Tinder, because we're going to talk about Tinder or POF, whatever it is. And you're going to ask me for 500 Listen, I can see you face to face, and I'm still not sending you $500. So that's okay. just my... Go ahead. Um, What's not well, happening? Okay, so I saw a meme that it was very mean, but I thought it was hilarious. And it said, uh, these non-people of color... Um, haven't learned ever since the Nigerian prince. Remember that back in the AOL oh, days? Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes. I got an email from the Nigerian prince, and my response was, I, go <laughs> fuck yourself. That but was who response. does this? Like, I don't understand. I don't okay, so coming from the... You remember I was in finance before. So coming from the banking industry, there's like a whole sector of people that do this kind of fraud, right? Right. And usually it's... Um, well, the one that was going on when I was working in the bank as a personal banker was like, hey, I'm going to wire you this money, open this account with the money, or I'm going to give you this check, open this account with this check. And what they would do is basically, it's called kiting. So kiting is the act of writing a check with no money, right? There's three days for the bank to process it. In those three days, you're supposed to, the bank does like an initial clearance of the check especially if you already have an open account and um, you have access to the money, right? If the check bounces, then your account goes negative. So a lot of kids, like college kids, old people, were being targeted and were ending up messing up their banking credit because there's like there's like a system of credit, you know, our regular credit system in the U.S., but there's also a check system, C-H-E-X. So in the check system, if you have crappy accounts and you have overdrawn your accounts, the banks flag you on there and you're not able to open accounts anymore. So a lot of these innocent people were being targeted in these elaborate schemes. And, you know, there's it's a pyramid, basically. So there's one person making all this money and then all these people are falling for the one person and that person never goes to jail. Yeah, that was. Um, I have you guys seen the tin, Tinder swindler? Have you actually seen the show? Yeah, no, I've yeah, heard I of saw, it, but I, I haven't. Seen I saw it. like the first episode, but I just it, that's nothing that's gonna interest me a uh, long term because I think you're stupid. That's I, I, I think wait, I think it. it's a movie. It's not a show. It's not. Yeah, it's a movie. Yeah, it was like an hour. And, it was an hour and change, and then um, it's. Just, I think it's just a movie. No. Well, I only watched like a little clip of it, but I enough to know, I already know what it is. You're stupid and you got swindled for dick. Is basically what happened. I don't yeah, well, I haven't seen it. <clears throat> here's the thing though. Um cuz I watched I watched the whole thing. I didn't even know what it was. I just clicked on the first thing that showed up and um these women are kind of uh the, well, he 
they match on Tinder and then he love bombs them. Like he says everything that they want to hear. You are, you, you look like the woman I want to start a family with and you, you look, you know, like we would be good together, you know, and he just says everything that, um, everything that he knows most women would want to hear. And then he presents this very lavish lifestyle. So one of the things that Randy and I were discussing was that, um, uh, do these women deserve it because they give him money because he presents like someone that really has a lot of money. Mm. So, so why would you give them money? So because he fight okay, so he's always flying in private jets. He's always mm. eating at these amazing restaurants. When he takes them out on, on dates, these dates are amazing. He orders everything on the menu, like every single thing on the menu. And it's just like, se le llenan los ojos. It's like, if you're on a date with someone like that, you're sitting back like, what the fuck? So when he says, holy crap, something happened because he's supposed to be from Israel. That's what he claims. He claims that he's from Israel and he's the son of this wealthy diamond dealer or something like that. Uh, so apparently, you know, he pretends like there's issues with like, because he's, it's like foreign exchange and there's these issues and whatever. And can you front me like... Um, uh, you know, ten, twenty thousand dollars. When you've seen this man mm -hmm. spend ten thousand dollars on a meal, so yeah. Randy was saying these women's eyes get really big. Like, oh, he needs my help. Let me help him now because I'm gonna get more on the back end of this. So he's like, you know, it's like getting a gold digger. Mm. Like, you know, because part of it, part of his allure. I don't think he's like really that handsome. There's not much to him, other than. He lives this very, very luxurious life. Mm -hmm. And well, that's how he guys, draws you in. Hmm? Well, did you guys see or hear about uh, the making of Anna? The, the I'm girl? watching that. Inventing I Anna. I saw that. I, I, and I inventing Anna. That. Mm -hmm. And that's sort of like the same thing because she, you know, integrated herself into society uh, this high society, and she also came off with the premise that I am I'm wealthy from wherever, and you know I my check couldn't cash because it was in a different bank account, like the Kevin Hart my savings account not set up with my checking account and the way it connects, you know. But the thing is, is that you know I don't know. To me, and I'm I'm out there, right? The first time the guy says, "Hey, babe, oh sweetheart, or whatever," you're cut off because you've met me negative two minutes. And I'm not your love. I'm not your sweetheart. I can't be the woman for your life because you don't fucking know me. Right. So right there, I'm like, sorry, I don't want to talk to you no more. Yeah, I was looking at the text messages because they have a whole transcript of the messages he would send them and the voice notes on WhatsApp and stuff. And it's like, it's it's giving like chapeadores vibes. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I've been, did, I know Dominican chapeadores because guys, I've, you know, I've been around the block. And I right. have dated guys from abroad for a very long time. And, yeah, the, the ones that are trying to get you for your money, that's the first thing they do. They, um, you know, present this, oh, I'm doing very well here, blah, blah, blah. And then they start texting, and they're like, ay, mi amor, um, sweetie, my love, I see myself having a family with you, I see myself this and that. And I'm here reading these messages like, I please. Um, so... I was discussing with my compadre, and I wanted to bring it up to you girls. Do you think that Dominican-American women, because we can't talk about Dominican women over there, do you think that Dominican-American women would have fallen for that kind of swindle? Because we know chapeadores. I right? think we depending... Have, we've been well-versed in it, but yeah. would we fall for that? I think depending on the Zubi. situation... I think if the woman, I, if he catches the woman, the woman in a vulnerable situation where she is in need of love, stability, or anything to that extent, I think that yes, she'll fall. I'm going to raise my hand like a Zoom meeting. Okay. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Is that, are you trying to tell me something? Are you trying to tell me something, man? Oh, no, no, no. Because I, I want to make sure that before we move on from that one, that at least, you know, I get to... So yeah, yeah. I don't, you know, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, you no, want me I to go gonna, ahead? Well, I, I have something to say, but go ahead after you. Absolutely fucking not. I don't think, I don't think, no, 
I, I don't think because you know what yo creo que el chapeo se inventó en Santo Domingo yo creo que que we came up with that shit but you know how many how many years it's been that um I, I, I that disagree yeah, with and you. I'm talking I'm talking about Dominican American women um the woman nacida aquí la mujer nacida aquí que ha visto todo el tigueraje que ha visto right um you know and and in you and we have siblings and we have brothers and we have fathers and we have and we right. see el chapeo de de allá de que de de que mira i had a i had a friend uh i have a friend and he was dating some girl in dr he's uh german blanquito of german descent he shows me pictures they're texting obviously she's like go using google translate so he's like can you tell me you know like he wanted me to help him so that he could communicate with her he took two trips to dr she never asked for anything but it said it said i live up on resort y todo eso ella a, uh, after the second visit, she tells him that um, something happened and her stove broke mm -hmm. and she was just worried. So she wasn't going to be able to get back to him because she may have to pawn her phone to fix the. And I was like, here we Right go. there. <laughs> exactly. Mm -mm. And I'd I be told like, him, so abort, 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 abort. Mari, I would have right. been like, so where are you going to, where are you going to eat? <laughs> So exactly. And real quick, just to answer what Mari was saying, I think women like us or women who think like us or women that have had experiences, yes, we're not going to fall for that. But other women, no, you're getting a mujer por ahí que you use a coño, mana, y que fue, y que pasó. Right, but I, I think that those women, Zuli, are going to be women who are 95 years old and not who have, I don't or, agree or with who you. have like, I don't well, agree with you. Who, Okay, you cannot agree, but let me say my say. Let me say what I'm saying. <laughs> but and that they have a gazillion dollars because I am not sending ten thousand dollars to anybody. Right. Okay. We're right, but not we're, even. We're speaking about us, but you have women out there that have low self-esteem, that are looking for love, that are looking for stability, that in, and they will fall. I'm sorry. We're generalizing. We're saying. All the women that are American, Dominican, born here are not going to... No, you will have... You will find no, yeah. a handful of women that will fall for that shit. And you would look at them and say... You're right, you're right. Bro, mm -hmm. what the fuck were you thinking? Because if that was in the case, there wouldn't even be a show about that. But I have a question. Yeah. Is is it based on a true story? Yes. Yes, okay. it's real. Wait, so I'm going to give the premise of the show because since Suli and, 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 um, and Liz have not watched the whole thing, so... Basically, it's this guy. He's of a faking. Da fantameando that he's the the heiress. Is it heiress for a man? The heir. The heir of like a diamond the company. Mm -hmm. He's the heir of a diamond company, and uh, he's living this lavish lifestyle. He bags this girl. This she's not the first one though. She the mm -hmm. one where they open the story is that he bagged this girl. Um, he's like, oh, let's move in together. I can't be here. I'm traveling. Blah blah blah. Mind you, he's going where her with money from another person so it's like a pyramid scheme so he swindles one leaves her to travel uses her money to take the next girl out and so on and so forth right so it's like the kiting scheme so he's like taking out this girl takes her to the thing whatever whatever um the, everything's going fine then all of a sudden he gets atracado or like uh, attacked by his enemies because he has people that are hunting him down right so he's uh, inserting the element of danger right he's already love bombing her because he's telling her he's, he's a future with her so it's it's a lot of manipulation and then the woman um he's basically oh i need your help you know i need uh twenty five thousand dollars and he like and then the thing is, he's persistent. He doesn't, like, just send it once, like, oh, can you help me with this? It's like, oh, did you do it? Yeah, did you do it? Yeah. So he was asking her to empeñar el carro to, um, what is it, put out a loan on her car, to, to give up her, her apartment, mm -hmm. to, um, what else? It, it, was a, it was just, like, a bunch of suggestions, and the girl actually did it. She got so, she took out a, 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 a three credit cards that were maxed out. They had a limit of $50,000, and the thing is that he knows how to, Chapia so much. Work around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he knows how to chapia so much that he created a fake job for her, which she didn't. And and like he got a letter, a, a work letter from this company saying that she makes a hundred and fifty thousand dollars, so that they could raise her credit limit. 
So at the end, when when she finally realized who he was, she was already in debt. Like, how much was it, Maddie? Like two hundred thousand dollars? Yes, yes. And she had, and she had, um, she had lied on her application. Mm-hmm. So like FedEx actually sent two people to her house. And because they already knew about him when she because she started after a while, she started panicking mm-hmm. and she was she got scared and she told them and they said, what's his name? And they already knew who he was. So I, I don't want to give uh, I Wait, don't want to give FedEx? away. The end. FedEx? Not FedEx. I'm sorry. It was like the Amex. Amex. Oh, Amex. Amex. Yeah, Amex. Amex. I'm sorry, not FedEx, okay. Amex. <laughs> and, then he does, and, then, and he does the same yeah. thing with other women, though. There was another woman that was his friend that he did basically the same thing to, right? And he had done it to women before. Mm-hmm. He had done it to other women, and then those women became part of his scheme somehow. Like his daughter's mother was like there, so this girl is like, "Oh my God, he must be such an amazing guy that his his daughter and his mother and he, I mean uh, his ex and his daughter are here, and he's introducing them to him. So they give him like legitimacy because he there she's seeing you know his family, his child, and whatever. But I have a question, okay? Because what Zuli said, I feel like okay. You may be right where, uh, you know, some people may fall for it. And I think that what some women fall for is another version of the swindle, but not necessarily because like, I I don't know that anybody's going to be like taking loans out and and, and doing all this sorts, you know, all this shit to, to give it to a man. However, and maybe we have an expert in that topic here. But do you think that the Mangala Visa is the Dominican version of the Tinder Swindler? I believe so. I think so, too. Because so, I have no idea what that is. What's oh, the Mangala Visa? So Mangala oh, Visa is well, basically... Marcy. <laughs> Sanky Panky. Did you ever see that movie? Ah, ah. San, well, no, I know what Sanky Panky is, but I didn't see that movie, no. So, but No, but, but Mangala Visa is like what they basically... That's like the, 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 the sting, right? So the sting is grab yourself an American... Have her fall in love with you, wine and dine her, oh. get into a relationship so that eventually you can arrive here to the United States, right? right? So uh, okay, okay. So what? Um, Do you guys think I, it's the same thing? I feel uh, like yeah, in a way. What do you think, Sudi? Uh, is it the same as what's that show where they date people from overseas? Yeah, what is well, it called? Oh my god. Um, 90 day fiance or something nine, nine, is it is is that kind of sort of yeah yeah more kind or of less like that concept yeah. I mean, because... well, but you have to have put the you have to put the element of swindle in the middle. So I think that your example, Marcy, is, but not necessarily um, the ninety day fiance because that's not there's no fraud there supposedly. The, mm. But girl, you yeah. see some of the, mm. some of these girls, you know, from you mm. tu la ve y tu la oye, you hear them and you see them and you're like, mm, mm. 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 Yeah. There was this one Colombian girl. I was like, she is totally chapeando because. She does not love this man. And and it's guys from all over. But no, seriously, right. I feel like, um, yeah, and, and this is going to sound terrible. Cause, but there's <laughs> there's a whole industry for this in, in the Dominican Republic. It is. People oh, it are is. like, this yeah. guy, what is, what's his name from the same show? Night Day Fiance, Pedro. Oh, I think you were talking about the one oh. with no neck. <laughs> no, there's a Dominican guy, Pedro, that is married one to the African-American one. girl. Oh, no, not that guy. Oh, God. Oh um, yes, 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 yes! So I forgot. So Ben was very hot, and he's but they have their own show he, now, you know? so they're yeah, banking. Yeah, and then they're, they're making money, them. but like mm-hmm. initially, um, when they were trying to break them up, because you know there's always like some hater, um, yeah. they were His like, ex-girlfriend? oh no, yeah, an ex girlfriend or a prima, I don't know, a somebody. prima. She was like, he fucking do you know who? I was like, oh. I want to watch yeah, this and episode. Then, I have never seen this show. And then what? they told they they told the 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 fiance they're like oh you know I heard him he was talking to his mom was um como chinchandolo like encouraging him to bag you so that he couldn't go to the United States and send her money. Yeah. And then that plays on um the insecurity. Obviously, you don't really know this person. They're right. living in a foreign country, and then you don't speak the language either. So it's kind of like. You don't know what's going on. They're telling you this, and it's like, it's adding to like the whole drama of the thing. And then the other person is like trying to, you know, convince you that they love you and they're here for the good I, reasons. And I, 
I think what happened with Pedro was that um, it backfired. And he ended up actually falling in love or, or liking her more <laughs> than what he thought he was going to like her. Because, mm. yeah, there was plenty I mean, of opportunity. I've never seen this show. Oh, I, I haven't. I don't watch it. Uh, I, I just, I don't find it. I, I, whatever. I don't know. It's like a low <laughs> budget love and hip hop. Oh, no. I, I don't yeah. watch that either. Uh, none of that shit. I'm watching <laughs> Promise. I'm watching Promise Land, uh, The Gilded Age, and uh, The Cleaning Lady. Yeah, no, I, I, I have, um, I've never watched the 90 Day Fiance, but I've heard a lot about it. But now I have to watch it because I don't even know who Pedro is. But I do have a lot of friends that, and and it's it's a it's a it's a long game. I feel like that is like where the Tinder swindler he's like faster. Like okay, let me get to the point. Whatever these people like invest time, so I can see how women will believe that oh this is real love. But yeah. I know so many. I know so many. I know one. I know one que ya yo creo que ya va por el tercero que va a traer. Y después que lo traen, pues un le sacan lo buggy. Le sacan lo buggy. And the thing is that, you know, you don't want to be like, bitch, you're being dumb. Like, stop. Like, why? Like, yo, you, there's so many men. I don't understand because they, uh, bueno, yo no sé, yo, uh, the, no hay que hacer de hombre. A, there's a fairy tale aspect to it. Like, oh, I met my husband on vacation. And, Honestly, like, we can talk about this with Liz, honestly, because I feel like I tend to gravitate towards men that are emotionally unavailable, right? Um, that was before. Um, and then I noticed that I dated a lot of men that were in Dominican Republic, right? Until I met my son's father, and then we got married and I brought him here. But most of my long-term boyfriends were, like, long distance. So I don't know what it was about having this long distance relationship and like really working hard to preserve that that I found appealing in my 20s so we can address that later but honestly like when I was doing okay so <laughs> so when I was doing his paperwork to bring him because we did the same thing 98 fiance visa right and when I was doing his paperwork I found this forum online of people um it was called bring Dominicans to the USA Okay, oh, and it was all okay. American people. Never heard of that. Yeah. No, I'm telling you, you wouldn't know unless you're like in the process, right? So right. it was all American people that were bringing people to the United States. So on there, it was founded by this. Um, what's the proper way? Like this app, not person of color, and he was bringing his fiance. He was like a Caucasian, a Caucasian, a person. white person, a white person. <laughs> so um, it was founded by this this old. He's from Texas, overweight, almost sixty, and he was dating a twenty something year old. Okay, so he was giving us resources on how to fill out the paperwork ourselves instead of paying for a lawyer. So I used my resources, but on there I met, um, I reconnected with Aiden's godfather who is actually bringing his wife, who they're actually still together. So that, like, out of all those relationships of the people that I met there, which were, like, hundreds, I want to say, like, four. I want to say four yeah. that I know of that I got close to actually made it. And even my friend who was not on the forum, that I knew her because we, we used to work at the same after-school program, she brought her husband, and that didn't work out either. Like, it was fine. It was legitimate at the beginning. But then, you know, they ha they always have this thing of, like, going back to the country, which is fine. Because they have family there. But in those trips, he reconnected with an ex. And le pegó lo bueno. So, uh. it, it, it's just, it's just, it's just, there's so many intricacies to those type of relationships. And I'm not going to say every single one is not genuine. But... It's very hard to, like like I said this before on one of the episodes from my show, is that it's very hard to sustain a real relationship and, and like, be truthful when you're in a fantasy, right? When I'm on vacation, I don't want to have an argument. You don't want to mm -hmm. have an argument. You don't want to have a hard time. You don't want to have a real conversation. So everything's very pretty and very beautiful, and everything's okay because you don't want to create a hostile environment while you're away. Right, so I understand the como te digo the appeal of it, but in reality, like in reality, 
I think it is what you're saying, Mari. It is a like a like a long sting. It's not like the yeah. Tinder swindler, but in the long run, <laughs> yeah, definitely yeah, the, the claws are gonna come out. The claws are gonna come out eventually. And here's the thing: it's like what you're describing is love without responsibility. So they talk about this all the time on on Hot 97 in the mornings because you know it's like when you're having an affair. Right. You're not discussing the bills. You're not discussing the mortgage. Tú no le estás limpiando the fucking skid marks on his underwear. You're not like none of that shit. You're yeah. not. <laughs> not that anybody's got skid marks. <laughs> but I'm just saying. You know. Same, <laughs> I was like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> no. You you know, you're not. It's just you're on your best behavior. It's like the dopamine, endorphins, all of these things, these feel good so hun- chemicals are flowing. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So, of course, uh, everything seems, you know, lined in glitter. Right. But then, but, but I feel like go, getting back to like our, our original question, like as Dominican people, El dominicano tiene mucha labia. El dominicano tiene mucho, you know, we know how to, yo, uh, people tell me, it's uh, like from other cultures, es que me gusta la muela del hombre dominicano, porque que, you know, they know how to talk to you. They know how to, they get in your ear, they know what to say, and they make you feel things, you know? Making That's why laugh. I stay away from the motherfuckers. The little memes what? that they have with the guy speaking in <laughs> <laughs> the little cartoon, and the cartoon is like saying stuff in Spanish. How do you say United States in Dominican? <laughs> no, entonces, the thing is like, you know, so I like I I don't know, but I I have this this like rule like to me is like it doesn't matter how many times when I was single, I went to DR or traveled anywhere. I don't care who I met. It was an absolute no, no. If you are across the ocean, it is a no for me. Absolutely. That's it. Absolutely. No te voy. Uh, uh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And I know, like, I have one friend that met someone, and he was really handsome, and he seemed really interested. And it was, you know, I didn't want to, you know, douse her with my um, realism. But I was like, bitch, fuck out of here. Do that. Do that. So tú vas dando viaje. You don't even like taking the train uptown. You're going to be taking a flight to DR to see this motherfucker? Like, nah, get the fuck out of here. Y tú sabes que de yeah. que se venga. Ese, ese, va, ese va a tener mamá Juana en altos back in the day and all these mm. spots. It's not, you know. De so que, I'm sorry. De so que for tú me, lo pula. De que te pulido ya. De que sí. shining and shit. <laughs> like, listen. Yeah, on, on, on. on on POF, because I haven't deleted it just for shits and giggles, mm. if you don't live in the five boroughs, you're done. Like, what the fuck am I going to do you in Denver? I like, think, what the hell is that? Wait, I think you're Denver holding you're that holding that I... for hope. That's what it is. You, you yeah. Yeah. I don't even check it. I don't even check it. Liz, do you get the guys that are like, oh, 10,000 miles away? You're like, where the fuck this dude lives? Exactly. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck are we doing? Like, what are we doing? Like, I'm not wasting my time. So never mind DR, Mari. If I can, they live in Brooklyn. I'm like, yeah, motherfucker. If you don't got a car, you probably took the train or whatever. Then we're not doing this because we're just not doing it. They have another wait, 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 one. Wait, 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 wait. If he doesn't have a car, you won't date him? No. How's he going to see me? I live People in fucking Brooklyn. People in the Rockland. city don't... People in the city I understand don't have a that. Car. I understand that. And so what's not going to happen is that I'm not going to be picking you up and <laughs> traveling with jazz all over fucking creation. That's what's not going to happen. <laughs> Yo, have you guys seen the new one, though? The new show, Off the Grid? Love Off the Grid or something like that? No. no. I heard of it, no. but I haven't seen it. I think it's what it's called, Love Off the Grid or some something yeah, like that. Yeah. But it's like, like something like that. Yeah. The, so these women are dating these so for example, one of the women is dating a guy and he lives like on a tree house and it has like no sewage, no nothing. The oh, the bathroom, the toilet is right next to the kitchen, so she has to shit while he's cooking. Yeah. They no. take a shower. No. He's cooking. He he. So basically, he hunts, and whatever he hunts, that's what they eat. So he's like. Uh, so definitely no. So it he. Sounds like the campo when I <laughs> one night. <laughs> so one night he caught like, frogs. <laughs> so he has frogs, and he's like prepping the frogs to oh. eat. I'm like, yeah. Like no. all they have to do is go to Dubai Hay or something like that, and they'll be, they'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, no. yeah. So those, to I'm those not, uh, little, I'm little, not, little, yeah. little, little um, parts of the capital that are like I'm, near I'm not, I'm not cut for any of that shit. 
Hell no. Wait, listen, wanna, I'm wanna, not. Wanna if it's good for you, if it works for you, great. But that's so not. This chick is not doing it. No, I'm not. <laughs> no. So I want to. Así no fue que hablamos, no. I want to chime in though. Like, uh, like, Aiden's dad never asked me for money. Like we used to go together, or whatever. He actually bought my ticket one time. Okay. Um, and when I was there, he would pay for everything. So there was no element of money. Like he would never ask me for anything but while I was traveling there I didn't feel like he never put pressure on me to bring anybody anything and he would never ask for anything but I felt that I wanted to gift people stuff so right. I was working in the bank and I was making good money so I feel like the money I probably could have saved to like the down payment of my house <laughs> I spent it traveling to Dominican Republic to see this man <laughs> and in gifts and shit and um buying clothes so because you know when you travel to dr you gotta look fresh all the time so you gotta buy uh -huh. new outfits and stuff so total right now but yeah like i feel like even if the person is not asking you for money it's an investment of time right um yeah. you're spending money in the sense that you know you're buying all these tickets and it's like it. i mean for the people that it did work out congratulations but like yes for the majority that it doesn't, like, come on. Like, there's people here. Listen, yeah. I will do it, but you have to send me my ticket every time I go. And I'm not spending a dime out of my pocket. Nah, I'm what, broke. I, 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 I don't got <laughs> shit. I don't got no money to spare. Yo te pa' que me ten, well, pa' que me ten poniendo a mí, da buena. No podemos estar los dos jodidos, ¿no? O tú o yo. No, no, no. One of the Jewish no. teachers that I dated, she did, like, the 90 Day Fiance, but because you know how they do that like pilgrimage back to Israel so she right. met a guy in Israel but that was like he actually had like a career and all of that over there and like he was well off but then when he came here this is the thing that people don't think about you bring this person here they don't have their especially 90 day fiance yeah. they can't work they don't have a social security number you're going to be maintaining this person for at least 90 days until they get the permanent resident card yeah. and then after yeah. you get married the 90 days right you have to get married within the 90 days after you get married it takes like i don't even know how many months after that to get the permanent resident card and the social security card so it's like yeah, no. are you ready to you know maintain this person for no. over six months right and then if you're, and so uh -huh, go ahead no, 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 go ahead, finish, finish. No, and then, like, Dominican men, like, I'm only speaking for Dominicans because that's what I'm used to. Um, Dominican men feel a certain way. They feel emasculated if you make more money than them. But then again, you're coming to a country where you're not, you can't work. Right. Yeah. So, o te peino te hace rolo, o te pone a trabajar en la casa, o en lo que tú estás haciendo. You can't feel a certain way because, hello, this was your option. You want a better life for your family. Ponte a fregar y a cocinar. But listen, when it what it boils down to at the end for people who, you know, felt victim uh, on a serious note now, because, um, you know, I know I was being very harsh, <laughs> but I'm very harsh. Were things. you? <laughs> <laughs> um, but the people who get swindled like that or have all these things happen to them, the night day fiance, all this stuff, you know, you have to go back and look at the self-esteem that's happening for the individual where are you um and you know what is it about this that's making you feel whole like marcy you talked about you know you love love from, uh, love from afar or whatever so whatever happened whatever experiences you had in your early childhood or whatever you know the threat of having something close to you and it being torn away it's safer if it's far away because it'll last longer Right. And because like Mari said, when you're living the life and you're cleaning the dishes and cleaning the ass and dealing with everything that goes along with a real relationship, um, not a real relationship, but a relationship that's, you know, not a distant relationship. You're and not the honeymoon stage where you're meeting in a hotel room or whatever. You know, that's the real stuff. And sometimes you just want to be in the honeymoon stage or whatever. But when you look at I want to. I only want to date people who are far away. Well, because that can last for you can text forever. You can have you can say whatever you want or whatever. And there's no there's no it, it's a safety issue in terms of emotional safety. And in terms of these women who are willing to give all this money and do all these things is that at all cost, there's like a helicopter around. At all costs, you're willing to 
do anything for someone who will love you like you have never been loved or never felt. And, you know, it all, everything all goes back to our childhood, our experiences, how we were introduced to love, attachment, relationships, all of that. Um, and that's what's happening with some of these people. I actually have a, I know someone. I always say I have a friend. People are always going to be like, this bitch got so many fucking friends. Always got a story. <laughs> because, Mari, friend. you do. No, but it's true. She has somebody for every yeah. topic. <laughs> yeah. I, I got several people for this topic. Because I got people dating people in prison, too. And that's another that's another scam. Got that's em. the commissary mm. and the sending them shit. He didn't no. quiere comprar la media especial y los sweats especial y toda esa vaina because... <laughs> It's like fuck. Special pero... kind of green can't be too green. That just has to be face hunter that. green. <laughs> Yo, this that see that's why I don't like Chihuahuas. The dog before you do you hear her in the background? She doesn't shut the fuck up. I've been screaming all this time. Sorry, I hope my niece doesn't hear this. I love your dog. No, she's sweet. I'm taking good care of her. She's not gonna die while you're on vacation. <laughs> but listen, um, la la. La, yo tengo una amiga que se casó and this guy like she went to DR they had this like romance and it was just so like he she, he swept her he swept her off her feet and she actually relocated went out there and stayed out there and married him and everything and lived out there for a while quit her job here gave her apartment up here porque ella dice que no lo iba a traer so she went over there. Mm -hmm. And so while she was over there, she realized she got tough. And she's like, all right, I got to go back. So she comes back and she brings him. Mm. Girl. The man was gay. Pero, the pero man they... didn't want her ass. The man didn't want her ass. Oh and he was, it was, that's why I'm saying it's a fucking long ass so game. So all this time that they were having a relationship over there, he was doing the deed with her. He was presenting himself as a straight man. But then the minute they came here, he was like, oh, I have something to tell you. The minute that they came here. No, no, no. He didn't even tell her. Porque tenía que, you know, they have to continue the, the, the mm -hmm. front. They got to keep the act. That's fucked because, up. you know, she could, she could pull that shit from him. So it became... I'm asexual. It became, I need to sleep by myself. It became, I'm going to hang out with my boys. Mm. And then I'm going to hang out with my one boy. I'm going to hang out with my boyfriend. And to the end, it was like, bitch, don't you see? Like, because oh ella todavía no se daba cuenta. And we were all like. Pero in a question, I mean, I don't know if you ever asked her, but in bed, did she not notice any change or anything? Because if you're truly gay, that is so not, I mean, you're, you're, unless you're a great actor, um, but emotionally and all, if you're truly gay, not asexual, not bisexual, anything like that, having sex with a, with a female is almost like disgusting. And it's like, you know, um, I can tell you somebody that I know that's close to me. Uh, they had a beard. The woman didn't know she was a beard, and they had a child and everything. And at first, they were having relations, and then he started. So because he wasn't able to be himself because of the way that he was raised, because he is Dominican from there, mm -hmm. and they live there. Mm -hmm. um, because he wasn't able to be himself, it turned into abuse. He started being abusive with her. And it's not, it wasn't physical abuse, it was emotional abuse. So he Which was, is worse, yeah, in some ways. Yeah. Very, much worse. Yo prefiero que me den una trompa. Yo prefiero que me den una trompa. Porque a ti te gusta esa vaina, perra sucia. No, 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 en serio. Like, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. The emotional abuse is terrible because that's something that I had to work through like this whole time because, you know, I wasn't in an abusive relationship before. The emotional abuse was the worst part. Like, we only got right. into a physical altercation once. But all that other stuff was like all the stuff I've been working on since since I was like 26. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. it's just now that I'm, yeah. I feel like in my power and I feel empowered as a woman. But he started saying like um, stuff like, Tu hiede, 
your vagina is blah 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 like nasty nasty mm. yo if i would ever say something like that to another woman i would feel like a piece of crap right. so it, it like i understand that Mari. like but wait, what does the beard have to do with it? Oh, they call it a beard. So they call a, it a beard. When a person oh. marries a woman. Porque un dipra, un dipra. Está tapando de gayness. Oh my God, They're like, Liz. so bearded people tend to Liz. be more gay. <laughs> you didn't know it was called a beard? Liz. We're teaching, we're teaching. We're teaching and learning at the Liz. same time. Liz. I saw her. And she's, guys, you can't see her. She's like all the way red. Tamala. She must have been in her head like, what the fuck does a beard have to do with it? Did she have a beard? Did he not like her beard? Not... Dude. You. She thought the woman that's, had a beard. Oh, that's what I'm like. Wait a minute! I got stuck on beard. So everything else that you said, I was listening, but I was like, wait a minute! But I don't understand. So I'm thinking it was a transgender oh, situation, <laughs> and that <laughs> you. No. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm thinking that. She had a beard, so they didn't know that it was actually a female. And then, so I'm waiting. I'm like, give me the rest of it. Yeah, but oh, it's, oh, okay, okay. No. Nope. <laughs> yo, no, 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 pero, uh, yo, there's a lot of, they, I have so many stories of, like, so many different, like, you know, like, situations. And, like, and the denial oh. also, because who wants to admit that they've been see. suckered, you know? People will yeah. see that shit through. So it's like, they drag each other through this whole, I was you know, and it's, it's, it's so it's funny. Wait, it's situation. funny. You know what's interesting? Mm -hmm. Zuli and I were actually talking about that the other day. We were having a conversation. I don't know how we brought up. But we were like, do you ever wonder how this happened? I don't know. You Listen, know? And I... we were talking about our personal lives. Yeah. And we were like, and we were examining, right. like, oh, my God. Uh, so let me not be the pot or the kettle or whatever. Cause, I, I mean, I wasn't swindled a lot of money, but mm -hmm. I, I blame I, I blame mine on being young and naive and unexperienced. Um, because other than that, I just, I don't, I mean, if I could go back in time, I've told you guys, if I could go back in time and literally fuck myself up, I would like legit, like, yeah, like, you said that in one of the episodes. like, knock, <laughs> like, like knock my myself, yeah, shit, like, like I would legit knock like all my teeth out. Like, I would just be like, right. no, bitch, you're not like, how dare you let that shit happen to you? Because it's like, you know, but I say that now with the experience that I have. Back then, I was, I was just being genuine. I was liking the person genuinely, and I was being genuinely a good person, not realizing that this person was taking mm -hmm. advantage of that. So... And Liz, right, is, there's a element You live and learn. Grooming. No way. Grooming, huh? yes. Yeah, yeah I was young. Grooming, right? yeah. So I was young. Of course. And these men that I were dating <laughs> yeah. were older than me. It wasn't like I was dating someone that was my same age and they did this to me and it was just like, but you both are young and stupid. No, these men had experience. So they clearly knew yeah. what they were doing. I, I didn't, you yeah. know. But For me, I was older, but this ended up being a friend of a group of friends, like imagine us, you know? So there was safety in that because there was a long-term relationship with the friendship right. and everybody knew. And there was an intellectual conversation that actually made sense and all of that. And, and you know, it just, it took a while to see like, oh yeah, no, mm -hmm. this isn't, I, you know, and then you have to figure out how to get out of it, right? Yeah. Because you, you invested this or invest, you know, the, 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 you know, sunk cost fallacy to the, a certain extent, you know, and then when you, especially when you have kids and there's an introduction mm -hmm. and all right. you like, and then you wake up one day and you said, fuck out of here, I'm done. And that's what happened. <laughs> A esta altura juego yo con Etelda. I'm the fucking Tinder swindler right now. But but here's the thing. And, and so, watch out for Zuli. Um, and so and so I didn't I didn't lose any money. There was nothing like that. But I lost time. Right. So what 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 is more? And that's valuable. Like, that's that is very valuable, valuable time and money. You can't yeah. that shit back. There was yeah there was no issue with money as far as that's concerned because there was a but the 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 fallacy of the whole time i lost i lost almost eight years i lost right. you know yeah. so but the thing is you know what's always what's interesting is that always in this situation there is someone that's honest with you 
And sometimes that person is the one we want to cut out. We don't right. want to listen. Yep. We don't want, yeah. you don't, you think they're, mm-hmm. you find every reason not to want to believe that this person, y a veces por eso que yo pienso que el que te, di, el que te, el que te lastima con la verdad, el que te, en realidad te quiere, mm-hmm. you know, because it's easier to be just like, oh yeah, let's see, and, and then talk behind your back versus right. be like, yo bitch, this, this thing, that's not what, you know, this is wrong, you know, but when we're in it like that, we don't want to hear you that. Can, you, but here yeah. and there, to, to your point, Mari, you have to also look at yourself. If what you're hearing bothers you or creates some type of emotion, pay attention to it because mm-hmm. there's something about what you're hearing that's affecting you. If it makes you angry, happy, sad, whatever it is, and that you end up, you know, I don't want to hear it, that's not true or whatever, but you have that ping that's going on, then it's either something that's reflecting on you as something that you're, you're not comfortable with it. So you'd rather just not talk about it. And that's when you have to pay attention because yeah, when you're hurt with words, when, when it's not malicious, right? I'm talking about mm-hmm. not like intentional, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. que lastima con palabra a nivel de, eh, you know, Mari, I got to tell you, I'm seeing this or whatever. If it twirls you inside, then mm-hmm. pay attention to it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wait, so... I wanted to, um, I, when, as we were talking, I remembered another story. So there was a there was a girl that brought a man here, and he's a professional there. Like, he's an electrical engineer. Homie had a job, like, teaching in the university there. And he had his own money and everything. And um, she brought him over here, and she was the abuser. She ended up being the abuser. So it's oh. like she couldn't find the guy here. She targeted him there, brought him over here. You know, they were building mm. this life together. And then, like, she would have these... Arranque de, de ira, and she would fuck him up to the point he had oh, to call wow. the cops a couple of times. And right. a lot of men don't talk about that stuff, but it's also like, right. you know, there is the swindle from that way over here, but there's a swindle from here over there yeah, for the people reverse. to have issues, um, right, you right, know, so emotional right. issues, which is crazy. Well, because you end up preying on people who are, you know, may have. Unsuspecting unsuspecting or you know low egos or anything like that and she took advantage she found somebody that was like that yeah she's an abuser there's period. always the, in the in these situations in these scenarios there's always like a predator and there's the prey and it's just mm-hmm. like they like they can identify who falls for this shit you know they can see it like something about you gives it off that right. they can see it and they know to hone in but um guys we are past our time yes we i wasn't even looking at the time bueno <laughs> marcy i'm chocolate. so happy you j- you joined us today i'm <laughs> glad to be on and i, yes, I love this is this, how it all like, started this, i love this uh what is it uh podcast smash so it's like comadreando times esc then esc yes so what do we um, leave people yes. off before we go like don't 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 send money to anybody. Yeah, like really. How about that? Don't okay, get so, swindled. <laughs> low, low key, That's like, like people, a, wait a minute. Have you guys, I'm sorry. Go have you guys gotten the text from either Chase or somebody that says, send me money mm-hmm. because your bank account is right. People are sending money to these people. You know, the new one's Amazon. Like Ver- Yeah, Verizon has sent me three texts and emails saying that they're going to cut off my cell phone. Right. So the first time I was like, but espérate, because I have it on automatic on one of my credit cards. Right. And so then I just pay that credit card and I'm like, but let me go check. So I didn't even open up the email or the text that I got. I went on the Verizon website and sure as shit, as I know, because when you have no money, you check on every dollar. Right. So. Claro, mija. So I went and but just for shits and I went and checked and of course my bill is paid and up to date and they're still sending me you gotta pay your Verizon bill, your Verizon bill's overdue, you're gonna get disconnected. Disconnect this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> no, the one I'm getting is from so Amazon you... saying that did you did you place an order for a eight hundred dollar iPhone? I was like negative. I don't spend my money. I get one from I, Citibank I'm and I don't a even swindler. have a Citibank account. I spend other people money. <laughs> no, <I'm sorry. laughs> yeah. No, the key the is from Chase not. It's always like, it's like C, yeah. capital C, lowercase H, capital mm. A, lowercase S. I'm mm-hmm. like, this is not how Chase sends mm. emails. Yeah. You're like, yes or no. <laughs> Listen, whenever you get that shit, just if you have a question, just log on to the actual site. Mm. Don't open those links. And especially. Oh, you owe eight hundred dollars. Only send seven hundred, and we'll we'll clear your account. Yeah, no, bitch. My, who, do, who does that nowadays? My advice yeah. would be that if you have a moment of doubt, that is an automatic red flag. 
and do not don't do anything you investigate till you have concrete answers and then you take it from there my my advice on this episode is um keep it within a 50 mile radius there you go so, yeah. <laughs> that's how that's how I got Randy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so when we're talking about 50, dating apps like reduce the <laughs> your net uh, your net to go like to therapy. Go to therapy about your childhood issues Ambient. before you embark on a relationship, senore. Yeah. Follow yes. your gut. Follow your gut. Ito Marcy, que tu crees? Um I'm not gonna say don't date long distance, but guys, come on, like be real, like is this a real relationship? Ask yourself a question. Yeah. Like, what is this person like yeah. when they're angry? I didn't know that until I was here. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> These are yeah, questions exactly. that you need to ask when you're dating the person. Like, how, how do you react when you're angry? How do you react this? You know, and these are questions that, for the most part, people will be honest. And also, like, really observe people's behavior. Because this is another thing, you know. I've grown to distrust what people say. And I mm-hmm. and I really observe their actions more than their words, because like we said, mm-hmm. Dominicans tiene mucha labia, mm-hmm. and they say a lot mm-hmm. of things. But it's really yeah. people's actions and their treatment of you that is really gonna inform who that person is and how they uh, who they really are. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And social media is all bullshit, so don't go by that. Oh yeah, hell no! You only put what you want people yeah. to see. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Pero como es el dicho it's, it's, ese, al, amor de lejos, feliz a los cuatro. Amor pendejo. Amor de los pendejos. Amor de pendejo. Amor y, pendejo. Eh, what is it? Yeah, Felice de los cuatro. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I think Zuli just made that one up, but okay. No, no, no. That's, that's, a, no, that's, that's a, 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 a bachata. My aunt. My aunt used to no, say that. No, no, no. Amor de lejos, amor de pendejo. No, my aunt. Pero Felice de los cuatro. Yeah, or Maluma. Really? Maluma got a whole song on that shit. <laughs> But my, my aunt, before Maluma, my aunt used to say that shit. She used to be like, because, you know, her husband was over there and she was here. And she was like, no, no, de esa vaina. Amor de lejos feliz a los cuatro. I was like, oh. oh. <laughs> That's a good one. Take a note. One Take down. a note. Damn, I almost gave you credit for that one. No. I'm going to give credit to your auntie for that one. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that is our episode for today. Marcy, do you want to close us out? All right, comadres, thank you for joining us and lindas as well. Um, You know where to follow us on social media. You can follow El Salon at El Salon Chronicles on IG and Comadreando Podcast at Comadreando Pod on IG as well. And you guys can send us some culonagrams or comadregrams. And uh, que mas, que mas puede decir? That's it. Oh, and you guys want to um, contribute to the sustainability of Comadriano. <laughs> you know what to do. Speaking of chapeadoras, dale, dale. <laughs> we bring valuable content. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Anyways, thank you guys for joining us. We hope you enjoyed this, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.